Hi, this is Sandy, and I'm going to show you how to put together design number 298482 from the Silhouette Design Store. I've already started this because I made a mess and I already had started a video, but just ignore that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the two pieces and we're going to glue them together. I'm using Beacon 3 in 1 right now because I don't want the video to be too long, so I'm not using the double sided tapes or anything else. You can use those if, you, if you're not doing a video. So after you do that, you take. You take your outside pieces and you glue those on. You glue all of them, like I say, I'm not doing um, everything right now because I just want to show you and, and I don't know about you, but I like short videos, so this will keep it short. So you put either your design or pattern, your color or pattern on the inside or the outside. And then if you've put it on the inside, then you want to decorate the outside and you use the extra little panels to put on the back. So then I put it with the folding tab beside me. This is the easiest way. And you fold your little inside tabs. And you do it this way because it's a lot easier and you can get them evenly spaced and them the way you want them. I line them up that way and then I pull them up after I've done them to make sure that they're not sticking to each other because I am using a glue for them. Videos aren't easy for me but it might make it easier for you like I said, I'm not going to win an Academy Award. Okay, you see how these little things are all up? You can you put them on the first panel below the line. Then you fold each little tab toward yourself. Glue it down. Glue the connecting tab. And then you're going to pull this so that it pushes all those little tabs down and glues them into place. Then you make sure this is nice and even. And give it a little... Oh, I'm making a mess here. And then when you open it up, there are all your little panels. Pretty cool, huh? Then you can start bending your panels and always check because you don't want to bend the one that the back one you always leave straight up. And there you have the basics for the box. Now what you're going to want to do is, and you could have done this before when you first started, but I didn't think about it, so I didn't. But you can put your little panels on the outside. And you can use a T-square or just make little pencil marks with, you know, with a use a ruler and make your pencil marks to have them really straight. Um, or you can just look at them and see if they're straight and you can kind of tell. They're really, once you get used to doing them, they're really not that hard to just pop on. I always look to the left and the right and the top. And now watch these will all be crooked because I said that. But anyway, you put all your panels on and you'll be putting your panels down here also. And then you go through your elements, dream big, and 
you decide which ones you want to put where. You don't want to put a real big one in the front and then little tiny ones in the back. You're going to save your smaller ones for the front and put your larger ones in the back. Now our dream big, I have way too many elements for this box. I figured I'd give everybody a choice on what they wanted to put. So you're going to have extras. So don't try to think you have to put them all. So there's our dream big on the back. And then going through, there's some really neat little elements here. There's a rainbow with a horse that you could use, or there's a cascade of stars, or some flowers. Your choice, and uh, you just choose the ones you want and then go for it. And see how easy that work, that is? And then we'll get to the back and <laughs> let's go ahead and use the larger unicorn. And I'm just going to put some glue down on the bottom. And please remember that when I'm doing this to send out, I really do take my time with it and make sure it's better. We just don't like long videos. And you can see there's your your horse and let's put some cascading stars. We'll just, I've got to remember that my camera's over here. We'll put some cascading stars. Maybe a big star. And then we'll put the smaller unicorn in the front. We just want to put a little glue, just... See, that's basically it. And then when, when you finish that part and you have all your little panels on each one, you can use your extras to, to maybe use a foam dot and put other designs on the blank ones, or when it's closed, you can put some more on the outside if you want, and tie a bow around the middle part. And then you have your envelope, which pretend it's all glued, and you stick it in your envelope, and you can mail it. Now, this isn't showing that hot a thing, but like I say, we're keeping the video short. So I hope that gives you an idea of how you're supposed to do it. And uh, signing off for now. And I bet you just can't wait till I make another video. Take care. Bye.